All right, we're talking about implicit differentiation, and in this video we'll work through a few example problems. And here's the first one. 3xy plus y squared equals 2. We want to find dy dx. Now solving this one for y and then taking the derivative of whatever that function turned out to be would be a little bit difficult. So it, it's easier to differentiate implicitly. And that just means we'll take the derivative with respect to x of each side. So I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x of the left and the derivative with respect to x of the right. And on the left, I differentiate term by term. Now this first term here is a product. So to take the derivative there, I need to use the product rule. The 3 just stays out front as a constant multiplier. And then I'll do the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And the first is x. And the derivative of the second right there is the derivative of y. That's dy dx, but I'll just write it as y primed. It means the same thing. This is just a more succinct notation. So the first times the derivative of the second plus the second, which is y, times the derivative of the first. And the derivative of the first is just 1. The derivative of x right there is just 1. And then I have plus the derivative of my second term. And the derivative of y squared is 2y times y primed by the chain rule. Remember, we're thinking of y as a function of x implicitly. So y here is our inner function, and the squaring of y is the outer function. So I have a, a function within a function, so I use the chain rule. And the derivative with the power rule is just 2 times y to the first, and then times y primed. And now that's going to equal the derivative of the right side. And the derivative of a constant is just 0. So now this isn't hard. From here, it's just basic algebra. I'm trying to find dy dx, which is simply y primed, which shows up here and here. So I just need to algebraically solve for y primed. So let's distribute the 3. I get 3x times y primed plus 3y plus 2y times y primed equals 0. And let's collect the uh, y primed terms over on one side, which means I'll just take this guy and sit him over there. So I get 3xy primed plus 2y y primed equals negative 3y. And the reason I put these two terms over here is so that I could factor out the y primed. So y primed times 3x plus 2y equals negative 3y. So y primed is negative 3y over 3x plus 2y. And we're done. That's the answer. That's the derivative of y with respect to x. OK, here's our next example. The cosine of x times y equals 4x find the derivative of y with respect to x. OK, let's take the derivative of the left side with respect to x and the derivative of the right side with respect to x. So the derivative of the left side is going to involve the chain rule, because we clearly have an outer function and an inner function. And the inner function is a product. So let's do this. Let's first do the derivative of the outer function. That's going to be negative sine xy and then times the derivative of the inner function. So here I'm going to have the derivative of that product. So this is going to be the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. The derivative of x is simply 1. Remember, we're taking the derivative of each side with respect to x. So when I differentiate y, here with respect to x, I get this y primed. But when I differentiate x with respect to x, I get the 1. So this is the derivative of the left side with respect to x. And that will equal the derivative of the right side with respect to x. And the derivative of 4x with respect to x is simply 4. And now I just need to solve this algebraically for y primed. And that will be my answer. So I'm going to take this factor right here and just write xy primed 
plus y, that's going to equal negative 4 over sine of xy. And then I'm going to pop this y over here to the other side like that. And so my answer y primed is going to be this whole right side here, negative 4 over sine of xy minus y, all of that over x. And it's uh, not very common to leave an answer like this as a complex fraction. So we can put it into another form. I can just move this uh, this x up into the denominator. I'll write I'll write this um this y here with as a fraction with this denominator. I'm going to take that y and multiply it by um, sine xy over sine xy. And that will allow me to combine this and this into a single fraction. And so I'll get negative 4 minus y times sine xy over this denominator sine xy. And then this little x will move into that denominator as well to join them. So I'll just leave my final answer in this form.